Hello boys and girls, what a pick on my shoulder in Call of Trippia Special Edition and uh, since it's raining again and because I want to start poking, picking apart some of the uh, mission questy stuff I think maybe let's uh, let's let's take away this today, huh? Standing there. Okay, quick scan. Is there anybody else left in this room? No. Nope. Oh shit! <laughs> nice one, walking in circles like this. Apparently I do not have good instincts. Best use of box shots, but actually, let's switch over to this. So I, I totally am gonna need all those box shots later on. There's this one zombie at the toilet who always escapes unscratched and makes for a jump scare. everything and and then sort huh so they have been <laughs> are you saying that the zombie fight have been hunting the tushka now here or what Those side arms as I planned. 
Okay, let's put the detectors away because I will miss them. I mean, I, I will overlook them if they're in the inventory and, and they will accumulate without me noticing. I'm gonna keep this one just in case. But not this one. Drop the mutant parts here. Oh! Don't mind if I do. No, I mean. You go here. Put it away. Okay. Many will save here because. Easy to save myself in the corner in this instance. Saving into corner and getting overrun. First lesson of today, do not stand in the position where you can't freely move and aim everywhere. Also, I think I'm gonna switch to this because later on the shotgun will be will be more crucial. Quick save ever after every step here because it's it's quite possible to get quite far here and then kick the bucket and it's it's just annoying. Come on! 
defeated by the Faker. Crowd position. The idea is to draw as many rodents out as I possibly can because if I'm if I'm crawling up a pipe and they come into my face then that is very unpleasant. Rodent yo. Last one, maybe. Yeah, I think I got the last one. Maybe. Just checking. does not function. Okay, let's switch to bigger mutant weapons now. Save here. Also, I believe there was a stash in one of these corners. <laughs> or maybe it was another case of this is where I would put something. Work, I'm just methodically going to reveal. Huh, nothing here. Or should I? Uh, I think I have to go for here once and then it shows. Okay, do we have anything in this one? Uh huh. Okay, second aisle. Whoop! Ah, why 
is so irradiated? Is it about the place? Okay, let's... Oops. <laughs> let's do it like this. Click save here. Now, before I go through, I'm gonna do a half-assed do that check in the room as well, because I, I believe I have never actually found anything here, but that doesn't mean there isn't anything in here. to pass through one of the teleporters because I, I don't know if I if I go through it the wrong way then maybe they will reset or something okay so whoop 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 did I miss? Wait, I did, did go through here. Did I miss something in the middle aisle then? Damn. Okay, let's go check. Check it out. Oh, does one, one aisle have double... double borders maybe? I think it reveals unless you have gone through it. Just gonna repeat every every aisle. Ah, oh yeah, this one's okay. Everything's cool. This one's double. Eat something. I think I went through the same ones, but I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the game just didn't register it before. Anyway, we are here now. Before I start grabbing stuff, paying my respects. Oh hey, the weather has gone a little bit better. Maybe. Light comes back on, and I have a very lazy, very sneaky way for dealing with the uh, dogs. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> the lazy way would have been to run back into the uh, into the other room. Let's load. So 
try once more uh, the lazy way and then if it doesn't work I will do it the old fashioned way. The lazy way is... is yeah, this, I think it's problematic. The lazy way is good because it's getting rid of the copies. Or not. This, uh, this could have gone better. down. Give me your tail. Yeah, I remember this uh, this method working surprisingly well once. Is that if you run back into the complex Ah, I think if you run back into the into the aisle room or the teleporter room and then run back through the corridor so that you break the temporal loop or, or the temporal connection with this one w uh, with this room I think then uh, uh, then the uh, uh, mirages or the copies will will also um I don't know, unhinge or whatever. Right, I know that uh, special edition has changed some artifact properties. I think that was even... What's that? Ah, oh, that's the dog. <laughs> I think that was even one selling point to make the composite artifacts more, more useful. So let's see... Ah, indeed! So basically, it is giving me. Wait, how much? Oh, okay, four radiation. Sorry, can't keep it for now. So let me think. Jellyfish gives you minus two. What was what was minus four radiation here? Gosh, I can't even remember. Bubble gives bubble gives minus six, but what was the middle middle two one? I might have to go after uh, regular artifacts with my second tier thingy after all. On, on artifacts right now. I mean, it's uh, it's a little bit difficult to get used to the. I, I mean, if you if you have played one game for a while and get used to the artifact logic there, and then play another one, and the artifact logic changes, and then you get used to that one, and then then you're not even sure about anything anymore. Okay, no need to jump, there's a ladder! Right, it's starting to get dark again and we have the heart Now I need to think a little bit and uh, 
and set some priorities and goals and whatnot. So I'm gonna cut this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now. And see you soon.